Hey guys, it's Richard Reed again, um, your host. I'm here to discuss a couple more things. We just finished a video on the exclusions in the auto policy. I was going fast because I was doing my best to try to rip right through the policy, give quick explanations, but there's a few areas that I just want to tidy up a little bit, okay? So again, this is dissecting auto, just clarification on some of the exclusions in the auto policy. So we're in part A, liability, auto policy, all right? Let's just talk basically, intentional acts. Intentional acts are excluded in insurance, okay? Insurance is there to protect you in the event of an unforeseen loss. An intentional act is something that is done on purpose. We cannot ensure that. We cannot calculate the risk of people doing things intentionally. It's not the same as an accident and we will not cover it. Okay, so just lock that in, let that sink in. We do not cover intentional acts. You're riding in the car with somebody and you hear them say, hit me and all this crazy kind of stuff, get out the car. Okay, because you have a moral hazard in that, with that person. And I, I want to get into all this, but we don't cover people that intentionally cause accidents. Okay, because it's not an accident. It's intentional. All right, let's go further. So property damage. Okay, so we, there was another section where it talked about property damage being excluded. I'm going to read that to you briefly. It says, we do not provide liability coverage for any insured. This is section three for property damage damage to property rented to used by in the care of the insured. Why is per, um, personal property not covered? I'm explain. Personal property is not a part of your auto policy. When we write an auto policy, we ask you for the VIN number to the vehicle. The VIN number gives us a complete description of the vehicle and all the accessories that come with it. That's why we ask for the VIN, okay? Your laptop that you left on the front seat of your car ran in the building, somebody broke in and stole your laptop, that is personal property. Your wallet sitting inside the vehicle, your camera, what you name the item, okay? Um, your telephone, your speaker, okay? I got my little Bose speaker with me or whatever this thing is. If I leave this thing inside of my car, this is my property left behind in the car, but it's not covered, it's not a part of the car. Nowhere in the theft coverage or anything else do we indicate that we will replace that property. We're going to replace the vehicle, okay? Personal property is covered under your homeowner policy. Personal property is covered under your renter's insurance policy because it covers the contents inside of the apartment that you rent. The way insurance policies are written, they're designed to avoid overlap, okay? The principle of indemnification, which is what insurance is all about, is to restore you to the state you were prior to your loss, okay? There was an accident, an unforeseen event happened. You suffered a loss. Insurance is supposed to restore you to the state you were prior to your loss. We don't make you better than you were, okay? We restore you to where you were. In doing so, homeowner policies cover personal property. If you look at your homeowner policy, there's coverage for the dwelling, there's also coverage for personal property. That personal property is covered anywhere in the United States. It is covered under your homeowner policy. My stolen speaker is covered under my homeowner policy. The laptop in my car is covered under my homeowner policy or a renter's policy. And it's specifically not covered under the auto policy because they don't want to create a situation of overlap where you are benefiting from the insurance. Okay? So there's a rhyme and reason behind all this stuff. You may not like it, but this is how we do it. Okay, there's another section in here where it talks about exclusions. It says we do not provide liability coverage for, and this is all about, um, this is all about working. So this is about business use. Business use is excluded. Okay, so let's just go over this real quick. Um, I'm lost. I apologize. Here it is. Got it. Okay, number six. Okay, we do not provide liability coverage for, number six, while for, let me, let me read the whole thing, okay? We do not provide liability coverage for any insured. Number six, while employed or otherwise engaged in the business of selling, repairing, servicing, storing, or parking, vehicles used, vehicles designed to ma mainly to be used on public highways. Okay, but let's go further to number seven, all right? Um, we do not provide liability coverage for any insured maintaining or using any vehicle while that insured is employed or otherwise engaged in business. Okay, we talked about trade business use of things. When you're in business, your business needs to insure you, okay? 
um, we did not cover commercial risk inside of a personal lines auto policy. All right. Now, this other thing that talked about not covering you while engaged in the business of selling, repairing, servicing, storing or parking. Well, guess what? That's people that are in the car business, is it not? If you're selling cars, if you're repairing cars, if you're servicing cars, if you're storing or parking vehicles, you are in the car business and they sell garage liability policies for those people. The garage liability policy will cover those losses and that is why your personal auto policy does not, okay? We also don't cover business use of a personal lines auto policy. So I try to tell people, and I'm gonna go further into this because another section talks about livery conveyance or public conveyance. All these Uber drivers come into my office and they swear up and down they just need a regular auto policy. And I'm like, no, you don't. You are a livery, okay? You are a taxi cab. You are in business. And because you're in business, you need a business policy. Now, we do have companies like Progressive that have an adaptive policy that will extend coverage for rideshare, okay, to specifically design for that. But that is an endorsement adding to the regular auto policy. Standard regular auto policy does not cover business use. Do not let Uber or Lyft convince you that it does. Do not let them tell you, hey, well, you're covered under our larger policy. When an accident happens, people want information on the scene. You do not have that information in your vehicle. The only information you have is your personal lines auto policy. And when those people file their claims, they're going to be denied. They have to struggle and fight to get to Uber. If you just simply buy the progressive policy with the ride share extension, you'll have the coverage available to take care of everyone riding in your vehicle. Okay, so business use is out, guys. Um, just lock it in. It's not something that's gonna be covered, okay? And legal use of the vehicle. Okay, one of the things was that the insured would not be, here it is, number eight, okay? So again, we always start with the header. We do not provide liability coverage for any insured. Number eight, using a vehicle without reasonable belief that the insured is entitled to do so. Listen, you cannot steal a car, then get out there, lose control, cause an accident, and think we're gonna jump in and pay for your liable, for the damages that you're liable for. Theft is not covered. Illegal acts are not covered in insurance. We are not here to pick up criminal activity. It doesn't do it now. It's not gonna do it in the future. Get it through your head, okay? There's a few other things. Um, I think you guys pretty much grasp the rest of it. The nuclear energy thing I know is very weird, okay? But we're not picking up any type of liability for anything regarding nuclear energy. Just know that, okay? Because it is too widespread. If a nuke were to go off, it's gonna be everywhere with radiation. And it's gonna, it's like, it's a lot like a flood. It's catastrophic. And insurance companies just cannot bear the expense. So we're not even gonna try. Okay, and then I just want to cover one more thing. There is a situation here where they talk about vehicles. It says we do not provide liability coverage for the ownership, maintenance, or use of a vehicle which has fewer than four wheels. Okay, think about that for a second, okay? Is it an automobile if it has fewer than four wheels? Okay, so technically it's not. So it says it right here in the policy that they're not gonna cover that because it's got fewer than four wheels. But there is an exclusion here. And well, also it says it's not gonna cover a, a vehicles designed for use mainly off public roads. So you know, there are vehicles for that. They're designed for off-roading, okay? Now, the only exclusion that is relevant here is if such vehicle is being used by an insurer during a medical emergency. Okay, so I think you can understand that. They'll extend coverage for that reason, but that's pretty much it. Um, I wanted to clarify those things. Oh, one more. And this is a major one. I love this one because it says, we do not provide liability coverage for the ownership, maintenance, or use of any vehicle located inside a facility designed for racing, okay, for the purpose of competing in or practicing or preparing for any prearranged or organized racing or speeding contest. Listen, I got news for you kids in Atlanta who like to stand around while they're doing donuts. Okay, one of these fools loses control and hits you as a pedestrian. I know you think, well, their insurance will cover me, but I have news for you. Their insurance is gonna deny your claim. Okay, because what that is, is that is you and them, okay, um, using a vehicle located inside a facility designed for racing for the purpose of competing, practicing, or preparing for a prearranged, organized racing or speeding event. You are determining the venue in this situation. No, you're not at Atlanta Motor Speedway. 
you're at a corner of Peachtree and Piedmont and you guys think it's cool to be out there. So you form this big circle and you've got a car doing donuts in the middle. If somebody gets injured, if that car flips over and one of the passengers gets killed, I got news for you. There's gonna be a very disappointed family because they're gonna deny liability for that instance. Do not race your cars. Do not accept a race at a street light. If you lose control of that vehicle and they find out that you've been racing the vehicle, it's gonna be denied, all right? Claims is a difficult job. I did claims for 10 years at State Farm before I ever sold a policy, okay? I assure you, as much as they will accept you as an insurance client, they will deny your claim in the event that you do something outside the scope of what this policy says, all right? Listen, there is no loyalty in insurance. I don't care how long you've been with the insurance company. They're not loyal to you. You are loyal to them. Okay, it's like toothpaste. Your mom uses Crest, you go buy Crest. Your mom has State Farm, where are you at? You're at State Farm. But then you find out when State Farm denies your claim, and I'm only using State Farm as an example here. There are plenty of companies I could have used, okay? But what I'm saying is that they are a company, okay? They have integrity. What they're promising you is that if you purchase the coverage and pay the premium, and it's inside the scope of the policy, then we will pay for the damages that occur as long as those damages occur inside the scope of the effective dates of that policy and that there are coverages in place to take care of your damage. You pay the premium, we'll deliver the promise, okay? You meet outside the scope of that, we will deny your claim with no hesitation. And it's not about whether we were loyal, it's about integrity, okay? Get that through your head. Insurance only offers one thing and that is integrity. Customers are loyal to insurance companies. Insurance companies are not loyal to customers, okay? If you lapse your policy, all right, on Friday and then have an accident on Sunday and then come back in and try to get the policy on Monday, we're not paying the claim for Sunday. You could have been with us for 20 years. It does not matter. The policy lapsed on Friday, okay? Now, if the policy was active and you had the accident, the coverage is there, bang, there's the money. We're gonna take care of everything. Insurance companies offer integrity, not loyalty, okay? Hey, thanks guys so much for tuning in. I just wanted to clarify some of these exclusions um, with a little bit of energy, not, not so much just me reading to you, but I wanted you to kind of understand where they're coming from, what the thought processes are inside of the insurance carrier, okay? People say, oh, they don't wanna pay, it's not true. We clearly tell you in the insurance agreement what we will pay for. And we also tell you in the exclusions the things that will not be covered. The only reason it's falling, it's falling outside of the scope. It's either in or outside of the scope of those two things. And that's just the luck of the draw for you. So if, we, if, we, if you're excluded and we deny your claim, you can get mad all you want, but we deny the claim for a reason. Because we're, we've agreed mutually that, we, that you're gonna pay the premium and that we all agree mutually to the things contained therein in this policy language. If it is, falls into the exclusion category, it'll be denied. You agreed to that, okay, and so did they. So hey, listen, my name is Richard Reed, I'm your host. I am the CEO of Reed Financial Insurance Group where we handle everything insurance and real estate, auto, home, life, health, commercial insurance, surety bonds, and we sell real estate. I'm a lister, guys, okay? If you need to have a house sold, please give me a call. I love selling houses, and I work with Kelly Williams Realty Atlanta Partners out of Peachtree City, and I assure you, if we get your home listed, we'll get it sold. Give us a call, 770-994-5596, and um, thanks so much for sitting with me, and I look forward to meeting with you guys in the future. Have a great day.